Good afternoon. We welcome you to St. Anne's Catholic Church and especially to any visitors or newcomers to our parish. We welcome you to our community. Today is the second Sunday of, of Ordinary Time. In, the announcements for this day are CCD classes have been canceled for the month of January. They will resume February 3rd. Confirmation classes for 2021 have been canceled. There is a holy hour every Thursday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., followed by silent adoration of the Blessed Eucharist from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Please join on Thursdays. The Mass today is being celebrated by Father Tuin. In today's readings, we learn the following lesson. Through baptism, we have been joined to the Lord who calls us to be his disciples. How well do we listen to his voice? How willing are we to do his will? Please join me in praying the St. Michael prayer. This prayer is being said for the right to life as taught by our Catholic faith. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in hell. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be the enemy of our prayer, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking a ruin of souls. Amen. Just a reminder to turn off all your cell phones during Mass. Now please rise and take a moment to greet your fellow parishioners. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, um, the peace of the Lord be with you. Um, I welcome you here on the second Sunday in Ordinary Time, uh, today that we respond to God's call, yet like in the scripture reading, um, and also John the baptizer point out to his disciple where Jesus is. Many of us, when God calls us, do we respond to Him? Do we be faithful to Him? We are not, so we ask for mercy at this time. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thought and in my word, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault through my fall, through my most readily fall. Therefore, I ask as me a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sisters. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our worst sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to people on the We praise you, we bless you, 
we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. The Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and be told your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So he went, to, he went back to sleep. Again the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word to, him, to his to be without effect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Here, here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I have waited, I have waited for the Lord, and he stood toward me and heard my cry, and he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or offering you wish not, but ears open to obedience you give me. Holocaust and sin offerings you sort not, then said I, Behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come, come to, to do you. your will. In a reading scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will. O oh my God, is my delight and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced it your justice in the, vase, in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, 
No. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. A reading from the first letter to St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but immoral person sins against his own body. Do you, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased a price. Therefore, glorify God is your body. <coughs> The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you them. and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John um. John was standing with two of his disciples and as he watched Jesus walk by he said behold the Lamb of God the two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translate means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard Jesus and follow Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas which is translated Peter, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We gather to celebrate the second Sunday in ordinary time. Also this week, the church asked us to pray for vocation. And also we beginning the week of Christian unity, we pray for the Christian unity. First, in the first reading we hear today, Samuel got called. He was in the temple, and God called him not one, not two, three times. And he heard the call. He came to Elijah and then said, 
teacher, you call me. And Elias say, no, I'm not. The Lord call you, you just say, you know, Lord, speak. I'm listening. I'm responding. The reason why God called him three times, because he's not responding to God, many of us do. God call us, we not respond, or we respond in the way we want it. And so that the reading today that God call us to be in different vocation, vocation of married life, vocation of religious life, vocation of priestly life, vocation of single life, and all of us get special call. Every one of us, we find the call that is so interesting. Samuel found the call today when God that call upon him. And yet, listen, and when God call each one of us, or when God call us, and we have to respond, I'm listening, speak. And so the second reading we hear today, God call us in the purpose to serve God. And many of us, God gave us different time and talent to do what we need to do in the way of God call us. And yet, the body, flesh, that to worship the Lord, and we hear in the second reading, your body is the temple of God. How many of us we take care of our body? I heard so many times that we abuse ourselves. And we also allow someone to abuse us too. And so how we are using the body at God's temple and allow God to dwell in us and with us. The gospel today that so powerful, behold the Lamb of God, we hear in the Eucharist all the time, two disciples of John, Look at Jesus, and yet they follow Jesus and found where Jesus stay. And when they found that they stay around with Jesus, they respond to his call and follow him. And yet, what's going on with Peter today? You are the rock. Upon this rock, I build my church, and we baptize into the church and our body, the temple of God and all. So please that explore your vocation and this week pray for the vocation. Point people out to Christ is, Christ in the Eucharist, in the sacrament we celebrate, Christ in the people who we meet each day. Early this morning, I have some work in the office, so I have to walk over to the office. I used to walk this side to the church. I say a little prayer, and then I go over to the office. But today, I just walk different round and just say go in front of the rectory and then walk around the, the building because I know it's kind of have little cold and get some exercise. I saw the homeless people sleep in this side of the church, of this side of the church, in the than in the school. And I said, wow, this is a lot. This is, that is cold and difficult. How are we going to find the shelter for all these people? And so I'm working until almost 9, 10, and so I have to call Don and say, no one around here in the church, me alone, and the seminary is gone and everything. I have to go to the Riverside service and then the anniversary of 50, uh, you know, year for people and couples. So, uh, Don, could you please come in and checking on the building? But I don't want to wake them up. So I think when I talk in my office, some of the guys sleep outside of my door hear about that. And so say, we are leaving. <laughs> so I, I say, oh. No, no, you can say what you want, but don't do anything damage for the building that okay for me. You know? So all of this God calls us. How do we reaching out? 
How do we help people? Yes, and during this time, uh, I know that coronavirus, I keep asking you, please help the church financially, physically, time, talent, so we continue to reaching out to touch people. And yes, I also encourage you, the vaccine is available. I already get one, and so I know many of you that please come get the vaccine. The Johnson Company, the third time they try, and also that will be one dose, you know, coming out soon. And so please receive this vaccine, and so give us the freedom of what we have to do. Even we receive the vaccine, we still have to, you know, follow the rule and wear the face mask and keep so so distant and all. And so for the second Sunday and ordinary time, yes, it's ordinary time, but yes, so many things for us to look into. Thank you for support the his system. And you see on the report, I amazed that we able to complete the project. And yes, we can withdraw some of the money from the saving to pay for the rest. But it's amazed that people are helping with that project. More than 100,000 that you are contributing. The project is one more than 140,000. But the generous from you and from friends of St. Anne and people already, you know, give us more than 100,000. It's amazing during this time with what you helping. So please try to be generous and please try to thank God even in time of challenging. All the scripture reading today focus for one thing and one thing only if we can take away for today. Every one of us have different paths and different vocation. The most important for us by peace and we able to do what we are doing. And that's what, if we have faith in God, we able to find peace and energy in the way that we can respond to the call that God wants us to do. So please stand up. together, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit was born in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. To God, the giver of all life and the law of peace, let us pray. For those who dedicate their lives to work of the church and for all who respond to to the call of God. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For leaders who listen to the needs of their people and respond to them with honesty and humility, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the righteous who struggle against racism and violence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For children in the womb and all who write to life is questioned, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the members of this community who put their commitments to justice into particular action, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayer enter in our book of prayer, and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayer. May we give voice to the presence of your Son, the Lamb of God, who is in our midst. By seeking him, by seeking his peace and justice in our time and place, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection 
and so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice. We acclaim um, holy, 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 holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending thou your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his person. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Have this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be proud for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and flesh of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may marry to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same old command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, racist, leader, and peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously rent her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us offer his author the sign of peace and love. Peace. Lamb of God, you, you take okay. away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe. You are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As you know that um, the new parish uh, process is going along east of the parish, they meet with their state hall with the archdiocese for the first time. And then on January 20, all of the five parish state halls, so it means the representative, the leader from east of the parish will meet together on January 20. That purpose for that meeting, so they know the leadership from east of the parish, no one another, and that night, I hope it's your representative that come and then know another parish representative that the purpose first for that meeting, the second purpose for the agenda for that meeting, so they the one that who know you, and so they can recommend you in different committee, so that they call the initiate, uh, for the meeting, so they can form, like for example, the liturgy meeting, uh, the committee, the outreach committee, the, uh, the diversity culture committee, whatever the needs of the new parish that, so they will form the committee on that, the financial council, the pastoral council, so later on that they have the people who commit into those, and those the new leadership for the new parish. And so you know the process. I know the process, but I don't know the detail. And so that's why each of the parish leadership is very important task, mean they know you. And then that's why the vision and the future is so important. Please pray for all different meetings. And as you know that uh, all the meetings is quite the challenge. But if we open up, we learn a lot from one another. And then also I encourage you, please, please go take the vaccine. It's open up. And so I try to arrange to get into the parish. They do that, but no, this vaccine, they need it the right temperature in the hospital. The Johnson one, the new one coming out, that one might be able to have the chance to do that. But this one, the new one, that, um, that you need to go to the hospital or the doctor, Office, they have the refrigerator and dry temperature to get the vaccine for you. So pray, so God will continue to bless upon us even in time of the challenge and difficult. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.